should we care if the Iranians are allowed to continue to enrich uranium? This has been the big point of discussion, the big point of controversy surrounding the U.S.-Iran nuclear deal negotiations. The Americans have been saying for months, from President Trump all the way down, Iran will not be allowed to enrich uranium. The Iranians say that it's a right of theirs, that they will not sign any deal that prevents them from enriching uranium. The auto pen, meaning Joe Biden, should have stopped Iran a long time ago from enriching under our potential agreement. We will not allow any enrichment of uranium. So here's President Trump contradicting the Axios story from earlier the same day. The Axios story again claiming that Iran would be allowed to continue to enrich, and here's President Trump saying they will not. But what's the big deal about this enrichment of uranium? Shouldn't Iran be allowed to enrich uranium for civilian purposes? For peaceful purposes. Iran does have an energy problem in terms of electricity. If you follow the news out of Iran, you'll know that there's rolling blackouts, and frequently the population goes for half a day at a time without any electricity. But here's the thing. Iran is one of the most energy-rich countries in the world. Whoa, hold on there, Pesach. We won't be needing this. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm the guy behind the camera. Here in this studio, we have been producing the most incredible Bible course platform you can find online today. And this month at Israel 365, we are celebrating Bible Pride Month, and we're giving the most incredible deals. Click on the link in the description below and get started today. They actually have no need whatsoever for a nuclear program for civilian purposes. Let me explain. And here I'm sharing with you the research done by Daniel Greenfield over at the Horowitz Freedom Center, published on Front Page Magazine and at the Gatestone Institute. Greenfield explains that Iran has some of the cheapest electricity in the world. Electricity in Iran is less than a quarter of the price per kilowatt than it is in the United States. Countries with vast oil and gas reserves like Iran, Libya, Iraq, etc., don't need nuclear energy to reduce costs. Iran has lost approximately $1 trillion due to the sanctions put on it because of their nuclear program. It makes no economic sense if their goal is simply to reduce the already super cheap electricity costs in Iran, if they were trying to reduce electricity costs there's no reason for them to incur billions and trillions of dollars of sanctions in order to get there. It makes no sense. Iran's problem with energy has to do with the fact that they have lousy infrastructure. 